Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. So today I'm making fried fish with escovitch, so stay tuned for the recipe. So I have your two porgies, and I do prepare other fish like this, like snapper or kingfish, so you can use whatever fish you like. I've already soaked these in some lemon water, and now I'm patting them dry so that they fry up really nice and crispy. Now I'm going to cut a few slits in the fish so that I can season more of the inside of it. So what I have here for the two fish is one teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the fish. And add it into the slits as well. I'm also going to season the inside. And flip and season the other side too. The seasoning for fried fish is pretty simple, especially if you're going to be eating it with escovitch. And even without the escovitch, fish doesn't need as much seasoning as like chicken or beef or pork. It still tastes great even with just minimal seasoning. And this is just an all-purpose seasoning that I use on chicken or pork or any other seafood. And I'm going to add about two teaspoons of this and just sprinkle it all over the fish. I have my pan on medium heat and I'm using avocado oil to fry the fish, but you can use whatever oil you like to fry with. I'm using quite a bit of oil here to fry these to make sure that it covers a good amount of the fish so that it fries all the way through. Once the oil is hot, I'm adding one fish at a time because these fish are pretty big and I don't want to overcrowd the pan. I'm gonna fry these for about six minutes on each side. Look at that. Oh, that looks and smells so good. We like our fish nice and crispy, so six minutes for a big fish is good for us. And if you have smaller fish, you may only need like four minutes on each side. Okay, so this fish is done. I'm draining off some of the oil and then placing the fish on my rack with some paper towels on the bottom. And here goes fish number two. We all love fish in my house, even my little one, so I usually make some type of fish a couple of times a week. Because it's almost Easter, I'm going to be frying a lot of fish because during this time we don't eat any meat, only fish. And here's the second one, nice and crispy on both sides. So I'll leave them here to cool while I make the escovitch. So I thinly sliced half a red pepper, half an orange pepper, half a yellow pepper, one whole onion, and two carrots. So I'm making enough escovitch for all the fish that I need to make for Easter. I usually use scotch bonnet pepper, but I don't have any right now, so I'm gonna use these hot jalapeno peppers instead. I'm gonna use four slices, and I'm just gonna cut them up as small as I can. I'm also gonna be using six pimento seeds. I have my saucepan on medium heat, and I'm adding half a cup of vinegar, and half a cup of apple cider vinegar because I really like the sweet tartiness of it. If you don't like apple cider vinegar, you can just go ahead and use one cup of the regular vinegar. This is two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now I'm adding the hot peppers and the six pimento seeds. I'm gonna let this simmer for about two minutes. And now I'm adding about one teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now for the vegetables. So I'm just going to mix these veggies into the vinegar really well. 
and I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes on low heat. So five minutes has passed and this looks perfect. I'm gonna let this cool down before putting it on the fish. So I ended up frying three porgies and now I'm gonna add some of the delicious escovitch to them. The fish on its own is great, but with the tartness of the vinegar and the sweetness of the carrots and peppers, this added layer of flavor is just perfect. Any leftover escovitch can be put into a container and kept in the fridge for months. Thanks so much for watching and happy cooking.